So you're intermittent fasting because you want to lose weight because you're frustrated because you've been trying to lose weight and nothing is working. So then you get more frustrated. So you do more intermittent fasting in hopes that maybe this time the weight's going to come off. But here's the problem. So many people and women especially over fast. Now, intermittent fasting in and of itself is so beneficial. It has a ton of benefits backing it. But the problem is most of the studies were done on men. So we know that intermittent fasting increases autophagy. Basically, that's spring cleaning for your cells. When your body actually comes in and, and gets rid of the dead cells, gets rid of the, what we call zombie cells. And we want that because that's going to improve longevity, reduce your risk of cancer. It has a host of health benefits to it. But the problem is, is that women will do intermittent fasting for weight loss. So let's break it down. When you intermittent fast, and let's take the typical 16 hours of fasting with an eight hour eating window, meaning you're eating all of your food in that eight hours. It's not horrible, but can you actually get in the amount of protein that you need in those eight hours? Can you actually get in the amount of calories that you need in those eight hours? Most of the time we're busy, we're running around. So you might get in what, maybe two meals in that time, equaling 60, 70 grams of protein and it's not enough. So what ends up happening is your metabolism starts to slow down. And there are studies backing the fact that over fasting can downregulate the thyroid. So let me give you just a really quick bio lesson here. Let's add this in. Your thyroid gland produces two thyroid hormones, T4 and T3. T3 is active. So we actually want the T3 thyroid hormone to get to the cell and attach to it, almost like a lock and key. So we turn that cell on and that's what gives you a metabolism. That's what helps you to lose weight. But if you don't have enough T3, then your cells are starving. There's no way you're gonna have a metabolism unless you have enough T3. So it almost is starting to sound counterproductive, right? We're starving ourselves in the fasting mode. We're not getting in enough calories. We're not getting in enough protein, but we're doing it to lose weight. Oh, but wait, your thyroid gland says there's not enough here. Like you're going into starvation mode. We're not gonna produce T4 and T3. We're not gonna convert T4 to T3. You don't have enough T3 to get to your cell to give you a metabolism. So then what do you do? You fast some more. You restrict calories more. Now you roll that fast into a 20 hour fast with a four hour eating window. Your calories drop even further, your protein drops further, and you gain weight instead of lose weight. Because guess what? Your thyroid gland crapped the bed. It's not working properly anymore at all. Now you're moving into actually having a thyroid problem. Yes, intermittent fasting can cause a thyroid problem, just like over dieting and over exercising can cause a thyroid problem. Intermittent fasting can trigger Hashimoto's because it's a huge stressor on the body. Your body doesn't want to starve. Your body doesn't want to go 20 hours without food. So it shuts down. And believe me, your body is smarter than you give it credit for. When you starve yourself, when you don't get in enough protein, when you over fast, your body says, you know what? I'm not quite sure we're going to get food anymore. I really don't know when this body is going to eat again. So in order to preserve life and survive, we're just going to shut down fat metabolism. We're going to store all that fat on your body and we're going to, we're going to hold on to it. We're going to keep it. We're not going to burn it because we need it for survival. We need it for times of famine. Now, you know that there's not a famine coming, but that doesn't matter. Your body doesn't know the difference. It thinks that you are starving and it holds onto your fat and shuts down your metabolism. Now, is there a proper way that you can fast so you can get some of the autophagy zombie cell cleaning out of it? Absolutely. So if you are a woman, and especially if you're a woman with a thyroid problem, please do not fast longer than 14 hours. I'm gonna give you that max. You can fast for maybe 12 to 14. That's a beautiful window. And then leave the rest of the time, those 10 hours, those 12 hours for your eating window. Now, I'm not saying you're eating the entire time. You're not sticking food in your mouth a whole 10 hours. You're still eating broken up meals, maybe three, maybe four meals, and you're getting in enough protein. 
and then that's enough to keep your metabolism going. That keeps your thyroid gland producing the hormones that it needs. That keeps your thyroid gland converting T4 over to that active thyroid hormone T3 that can get to your cell, that can give you a metabolism and help you lose the weight. So if you are struggling with weight, please do not over fast. Fasting is great for men and women. Fasting is fantastic, but we don't want you overdoing it, especially if you have a thyroid problem. We don't want you overdoing it if you're battling with weight loss because it could work against you.